Welcome to the Oracle SQL Developer Tutorial. Now we are going to take a look at the basic features of the worksheet. For starters, the worksheet will be open by default when you connect to the database by double-clicking on a connection, but if that doesn't happen, or if it does happen but you want to open another worksheet for the connection, you can right-click on the desired connection and select Open SQL Worksheet. The connection used for this worksheet will appear selected here at the top right corner and you can change the connection if you want to. So, you don't really need to close the worksheet and open a new one just to switch to another connection. Once you are here, you can start writing code, and keep in mind that every SQL statement must end with a semicolon. So, for example, if I want to get the date from the database, this is the statement I need, right? It ends with a semicolon. Now, to run it, I have a couple of ways, I can click on this green play icon here or I can press the control and enter keys simultaneously. I prefer to do things with the keyboard, so I use the second option. In both cases, the command that will be executed will be the one where the writing cursor is positioned. If you want to run more than one command, or maybe only part of a command, you can select or mark the text you want to execute and then run it by any of the methods I mentioned previously. So, for example, if I have this query that includes a subquery. I can execute only the subquery if I want to. I just have to select only that part of the statement, and then run it. Of course, this wouldn't work if this was a correlated subquery. It would produce an error because the database would not recognize the references to anything that is outside of the part 1M running. If you are new to SQL and don't know what a correlated subquery is, don't worry. What is really important for you to know is that you can execute only part of a command, if that is what you want to do. The specifics of this example are not really important. As you already noticed, the results of your queries are displayed down here in the result grid, which we will talk about in the next lesson. Okay, there is another way to run commands, which is to run them as scripts. We usually call a script to a sequence of more than one statement, but even if you have only one, you can decide to run it as a script by clicking on this icon here in the toolbar, or by pressing the F5 key. In both cases, it will by default execute all of the code you have in the worksheet, and the results will be displayed not in a grid, but here in the script output pane. And you can also select only part of the contents of the worksheet and run it as a script if you want to. Okay. The next three buttons of the toolbar are related to tuning features, so we will not talk about them right now but in another lesson. Then we have buttons to commit and rollback to finish your transactions, which you can also do by pressing the F11 and F12 keys respectively or by writing and running the commit and rollback statements manually, which is what I usually do. And we are not going to look at the rest of these buttons by now, as they are not really part of the basics of working with the worksheet. Another thing that is important here is that, as you might know, Oracle error messages many times tell you the line and position where the error was detected. But since the worksheet by default doesn't show line numbers, it is not really easy to find the problem, so, for a quick fix, you can just right-click here on the left margin of the editor, which is called the line gutter, and select toggle line numbers. And if you want to go to a specific line number, you can press Ctrl plus G, and it will take you to the desired line, even if line numbers are not being displayed. And the last thing I want to mention here is that you can format your code simply by pressing Ctrl plus F7, which by default will format all of the code you have in the editor. But if you don't want to format everything, you can select only the part you do want to format and then press Ctrl plus F7. This will apply a basic format based on a set of predefined rules, but you can customize the formatter. We will do that in a future lesson. So, don't forget to subscribe the channel to stay connected. Please comment below if you have any questions.